let's take a look at how easy it is to manage your pages in WordPress. In fact, I think it's quite fun. We're looking at a demo site here. In order to uh, make edits, all you have to do is uh, find the login page and log in to the website. There's no software to install. It all runs online. All you have to do is get in your uh, password credentials in, hit the login button, and boom, you end up here on your dashboard. The way WordPress is set up, it's divided into two major sections, pages and posts. Pages are your simple pages like the about page and your services page, how to contact the company, all the static pages that don't change so much in your business. Posts are what we call advanced pages. So if you have a news blog, that would be um, publishing news posts. If you have a catalog, let's say in your uh, business and you want to organize your uh, pages uh, appropriately, you would be creating posts that were organized. If you were, let's say, a museum and you had events, exhibitions, uh, programs, and maybe you wanted to feature a few items on the home page of your site, uh, we would use posts to make it easy to uh, tell WordPress where uh, certain pages should go. Now, let's say you wanted to edit a page. You just click on, bring up the pages, uh, pick, a, pick a page here, and then once you click into it, you can edit the title. Uh, up here and you can add or edit any of the text that's in here. It's nothing here because it's a, a demo site. Now let's say we wanted to add something new. We're going to add um, a, new, a new post or page here. They're pretty much the same interface. And let's call this one uh, Tennis Forehand. Yes, I like to play tennis if you haven't guessed already. And that would be the title of this page. And then you can, you can just type your uh, text right in here. And, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to paste in uh, something that I grabbed from a, a different website. Once you have your text in here, you can do anything you want to it. Pretty much, uh, with as far as formatting goes, you can hit the bold button to make something bold. Same goes with italics. You can change the color of something. Uh, so there there are a variety of uh, things you can do right here in WordPress. If you want to add a picture, you put the cursor where you want it, and we click this little button here that says Add an Image. So we bring up the image editor. Uh, we're going to browse for uh, this tennis uh, file that I have here. We'll open this up. WordPress will automatically upload it and provide you with a preview. And then you can scroll down for more advanced options. Some of the things you might want to do is uh, add some alternate text, which is the little text that pops up when you mouse over it. Uh, you can link the picture or not. And you can control the um, whether it's justified and wrap left or right or center or, or no justification. And you can choose the size. You can choose is this going to be the full size or just a thumbnail or a medium size. And once you've done that, uh, you hit insert into post. And WordPress inserts that image into your post. You can preview this at any time. All you have to do is click the preview button and make sure you like what you see and then go back to your uh, page here. Now here's another cool thing, really easy to do. Let's say you want to put a YouTube video in. Uh, all you have to do is decide where you want it to go and we're going to flip over here and, and take a look at this video. Um, all you have to do is copy the address here of the YouTube video and then paste it uh, right here where, wherever you want it and that's it. So when we preview this you'll see that we get um, here's the picture and here's the YouTube video. How, how easy is that? So almost fun, right? Okay, so let's close this. Now uh, at any time you can save a draft of this site. If, so let's say you want someone else to edit it or you want to just return to it at some point. You can preview it as we've done before and uh, when you're ready to publish, all you have to do is hit that publish button and you're done. Now, that covers the basic WordPress controls. Let's say, let's talk a little bit about the advanced functionality. Let's say that you had a catalog, or in this case, uh, let's say you, you were a museum and you had exhibits and events, you had a calendar, you had some feature stories on the home page, you had a news blog, and some programs and you really had sort of a complicated uh, structure for your information but you don't want to screw it up when you post something so the way WordPress works and the way we make it work is you can take any uh, post here or page 
And all you have to do to decide where, what section this post is going to live in is you just check off, gee, this is a, an, a tennis exhibit, or um, it's a calendar, or maybe it's, it goes in our news blog, and it's a new exhibit. And WordPress will then feed the story in, and the links all into the right place. All you have to do is publish, go back and preview the page, make sure everything looks good, and you're done. And that's how easy it is to work with WordPress.